Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Attempting to land a fighter jet in high winds and waves on an aircraft carrier can be a high stakes gamble. The aircraft carrier's constantly moving deck and short runway make landing a jet a highly skilled maneuver that requires extensive pilot training and experience. Pilots are forced to adjust the aircraft's speed, altitude, and angle of attack to match the movement of the carrier. On board, the air boss communicates with pilots using a combination of visual cues and advanced technology to guide them to a safe landing. and crews on deck and within the ship assist with stopping the plane safely and suddenly once the jets hook onto arresting cables. In this feature, we'll show you what happens when things go right or wrong when U.S. aircraft try to land on U.S. Navy ships. The V-22 Osprey is a tilt rotor aircraft designed to take off and land vertically like a helicopter. It also has the ability to fly like a conventional plane. When landing on an aircraft carrier, the V-22 has certain advantages and disadvantages. One advantage of the V-22 is its ability to take off and land from a relatively small area, like a ship's deck. In 2016, sailors and marines aboard the USS Carl Vinson practiced bringing an MV-22 Osprey in a safe descent to the flight deck. However, the V-22's large size poses challenges too. The V-22 has a wingspan of 84 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of over 60,000 pounds, making it larger and heavier than most helicopters that typically land on carriers. Additionally, with its tilting rotors, the V-22's unique design can complicate matters. Those rotors create turbulence, making it difficult for pilots to maintain control during the approach and landing. Of course, that's why pilots go through extensive training and a certification process. Helicopter landing qualification, often referred to as HLQ, is how pilots demonstrate their ability to land on a vessel safely.
the pilots learn how to approach the landing dock safely, how to handle the aircraft on the deck, and the proper forms of communication with the ship's crew. It's not just aircraft carriers that have the ability to land planes and helicopters at sea. The main difference between an LPD and an aircraft carrier is their primary function and the types of aircraft they operate. An LPD typically has a deck area large enough for the landing and launching of helicopters and other vertical takeoff and landing aircraft as well as a well deck that can be flooded to launch amphibious vehicles. An amphibious transport dock, also called a landing platform dock, is an amphibious warfare ship. but it does not have a long runway with a catapult, like what's found on an aircraft carrier. The F-35B Lightning II is a specialized aircraft that can take off traditionally and land using its vertical landing abilities Upon landing, the F-35B's advanced sensors and avionics allow the pilot to accurately position the aircraft and then bring it down slowly using the vectored thrust. Once safely on deck, pilots must continue to follow the directions of the flight crew closely. The crew directs the plane to park and ties it down on the deck. After pilots are rested and planes are refueled and ready to return to the sky, pilots alert the crew that it's time to prepare the catapults. Because aircraft carrier runways are significantly shorter than runways on land, a catapult helps propel military jets, like this F-A-18 Hornet, the pilot taxis onto the catapult shuttle. Once secured in the cockpit and ready for launch, he or she signals to the launch crew and the sequence begins. The pilot engages full power on the engines, feels the shuttle pull back, and suddenly the aircraft catapults forward, accelerating from zero to 150 miles per hour in a matter of seconds. Upon returning to the aircraft, if a pilot plans to land conventionally, he or she will come to a sudden stop thanks to an arresting cable. These specialized cables are made of high-strength steel and are designed to withstand the force generated by the landing aircraft.
The cables must be properly tensioned and their position and alignment precisely calibrated to be sure they don't snap. A break would not only render them ineffective, but the whiplash of the cable across the deck could and has seriously injured people walking around. The Air Boss tries to prevent such accidents. This person on the aircraft carrier ensures everyone is working safely and effectively. Like at an airport, the air boss views the comings and goings of planes from a high above deck in the control tower. Before takeoff, pilots communicate with the air boss to receive their mission orders and ensure the aircraft is configured for flight. Very well. Indicate 53 RPM. During the launch, the air boss coordinates with the catapult officer. When a plane is coming to land, the air boss is responsible for giving the all clear and ensuring other planes are out of the way. While the air boss is above deck, a special bubble below allows operators to see planes at ground level. Once the operators in the bubble give the go-ahead, the pilot advances the throttle and the aircraft launches. Operators in the bubble are also responsible for ensuring the arresting gear is ready for a plane's landing. Behind the air boss and the launched bubble, the aircraft carrier's engine room is the third location on the carrier where people help a pilot come in for a successful landing. These specialized engines use a series of cables and hydraulic equipment to slow down and stop an aircraft as it lands on the carrier. Nothing may be more complex in military aviation than landing an aircraft on a carrier. Getting a plane traveling at high speeds safely onto the small landing area of a deck without compromising the safety of the pilot or crew on board is quite a feat. The crew on all carriers are highly trained to keep aircraft operations running smoothly. It can be touch and go when military aircraft are trying to land on moving ships at sea, but thanks to a high degree of skill, training and coordination from the pilots and everyone on board. It happens successfully again and again. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.